Hola beauties, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Morenigia and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I straighten my hair. But this time I am going to be using a brand new blow dryer. It's Con Air of course because you know we broke. It's the Velvet Touch Styler. It's supposed to be fast drying and have a no slip grip. So we gonna see about that. I think it's cool. Um, I like the red. I think it's gorgeous. This is not a review on this, obviously. There is one thing I want to say because I know, like, I have some like younger, like younger people watching my videos. I'm not straightening my hair because I don't love my natural hair. I love my natural hair. It's bomb. Like, honestly, I'm so. Like, my natural hair is my everything. I'm not straightening my hair to conform or anything like that. Like, I love my natural hair. But I also love the fact that my natural hair gives me so much versatility. So, I can wear it in its natural state. I can wear a braid out, a twist out, which I rarely do, but I can if I want to. But yeah, I just want to put that out there. Because I don't want anyone thinking that, like, you have to have straight hair to be beautiful. Um, your natural hair is just as beautiful, whether that be, like... Well, if you have naturally straight hair, that's beautiful. If you have wavy hair, beautiful as well. Coily, curly, whatever. Your natural hair is beautiful. You don't have to do things to your hair to make it gorgeous. But I think it would be fun if I straightened my hair. And it's been a while, so. <laughs> that's what we got, though. Also, you guys, I didn't even mention. Uh, I'm doing this on just freshly washed hair. And, you guys, the shampoo and conditioner that I'm using... Oh my god, it's so good. Like, crazy good. But I just started using it, so I don't want to, like, recommend it to you guys. Because who knows? Because I've only used it once. Like, this is the only time I've used it. But I will say, my scalp feels so good. Oh my god, my scalp feels amazing. Like, it, you know when you get that, like, tingly, the peppermint feeling? Oh my god, it feels like that amazing and the conditioner in my hair is so soft and it's pretty affordable but i don't know like sometimes you can use a shampoo and condition and then the second time third time fourth time whatever that you use it it doesn't work the same way as the first time so i don't want to recommend it just yet but i'll let you guys know like subscribe if you didn't subscribe already I'll let you guys know in a future video, like, whether it's good or not. Aside from the blow dryer being brand new, I'm using a new heat protectant. I usually use the one from Shea Moisture. It's the one I use in all of my other, um, like, straightening videos, stuff like that. I'll post them up here if you haven't seen them. I really like that one, but... I don't know, like I just want to try something different. So this is the Dove Style and Care Smooth and Shine Heat Protectant Spray. And it says, nourishes to protect against heat damage. And this is what it looks like. It was fairly cheap. So, I'll let you guys know. I'll probably do a review on it. But I'll let you guys know, obviously, like after my hair has been straightened. And I like, you know, wash it and it reverts back to natural. I'll let you guys know, like, if it actually did protect my hair. We gonna see. Alright, so... We're going to start with the back section, and out of the four sections, and I kind of divide it into like two more sections, so I'm going to take the back section and make it two sections, and what I'm doing here, like while I'm stretching it, it's because my hair is not properly detangled yet, so I like to go from the bottom and help detangle it, rather than just like trying to like rip through the hair, you want to try and like ease it from the bottom. So I'm going to go in and spray the Dove. Hopefully it's good. I mean, hey. I'm going to... Oh, I've never used it before, so let me... Oh my god, it smells so good. It smells like a green candied apple. I love this. Oh, that smells so good. It smells amazing. Oh my god, you guys, my hair has grown so much. Fam, look, it's not even in camera. Oh my god, sis, cut the inches or whatever. No, just joking. <laughs> what inches? But my hair is so healthy. I may have to go in with another trim, but we'll see. And with my heat protectant, I like to focus most of it on the ends and really coat my ends. But obviously, I spray it throughout the shaft of the hair, too. And I just kind of like rub it in. I'm going to start off with the tension method. Damn. 
I'm always dropping something. I'm gonna go for low and warm. So, I don't know if you guys can see, but it's just low and warm. Okay, you guys, so I finished blow drying my hair, and oh my god, it feels so healthy. Like, I mean, I've been taking care of my hair though. Like, lately, I've actually just been wearing this wig and having my hair like in braids underneath. So, oh, my hair feels so good. Oy. So, now I'm moving on to flat ironing, and this is like my tried and true, like. I have another flat iron that I love that I spent a lot of money on and I did spend a lot of money on this one too but it just goes to show like I actually have it here this one I spent $240 on I believe like $240 I think this is a Capel what is this Capelli Giochi I don't even know girl but yeah it was expensive it's a good flat iron not amazing though i don't reach for it this one was just a little bit over a hundred dollars it's from hana hana just hana i don't even know if they make these anymore but it's a professional flat iron like hair just use it girl 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 it is bomb like my hair is shiny it leaves it Oh, it's just beautiful, beautiful flat iron, and it just goes to show, like, you don't have to buy the most expensive flat iron to get the best results, because I love this one way more. If I can find it online, if they still sell it, I'll leave a link to it below in the description box, but yeah, it's bomb, like, and I've had it, 
I've had it for six years now, yeah. I've had this flat iron for six years, and I distinctly remember buying it. Six years? Almost seven years now. I bought this flat iron with a couple of paychecks from my first job. I remember, like, obviously I was making minimum wage at my first job, so it took me a really long time to make a little bit over $100, and yeah, like, it's bomb. I love this flat iron so much. Had it for, like, six, seven years now. Still works just like it's brand new. It's bomb. So for the flat ironing portion, having my hair in these twists just makes it like super simple. So I just go section by section. So what I'll do is like pin up these guys and then work from the back all the way up to the top. And I just like open up the twist, flat iron that, open up another twist, flat iron that until we're done. And it's that simple. Just multitasking, you know? Gotta get that little pore strip in too. I actually did a review on these guys. If you guys wanna see the review, I'll link it up above and down below in the description box. These are so good, I love them so much. I'm on the first step, so I got two more steps to go so you may see me like change pore strip pee things, whatever. I love to do the chasing method. Oh my God, so basically, let me just show you guys. You open up the twist. You just use a comb and like a this, like a small fine tooth comb. I'll probably do an even smaller section than this. Like that small. So for this method, you just take your little fine tooth comb, you put it underneath the hair, take your handy dandy flat iron, let me turn it down. I'm flattering my hair on 370, by the way, but since it's such a small, small, small section, I'm going to put my flat iron down to 302 degrees Fahrenheit. And let's just go in. So you're basically using the comb to detangle as the flat iron goes along. Super, super simple. The jungle.
this is my hair all flat ironed and everything. I am actually going to trim a little bit of the ends off because they're just kind of raggedy. Um, I do have a video on me trimming my hair and how I trim it and all that jazz. So I'll link it up above and down below in the description box. So I won't like go too in depth with that process. I'm just going to trim it and come right back. Can you guys see the difference that a little trim can make? Like, look at, and then look at, the, like, this just looks disgust. Even though I cut off quite a bit, this little straggliness is not worth it, so, yeah. Girl, I forgot to end the video of my hair. This is two days later, three days later, two days later, three days, I don't even remember, two, three days later, right? Is today Friday anyways this is a couple days later um but it's fine because I actually prefer the way my hair looks a couple days after the initial straightening because I like you know put oil on my hair and stuff so it kind of makes it like not so like as flowy and stuff so like two days later it just looks bomb and fluffy and all that so I wanted to show you guys like the end result Ooh, let me get a part going in this Ooh, I love the way it looks. Let me scooch it back. So this is the her. I actually, from the last clip, because I already started editing the video, that's why I noticed I didn't film ending. Um, from the last clip that I shot, I actually cut off more than just that from like whatever, from the bottom. So it's a little bit, this is like the worst shirt to show you guys on my pajamas, but a little bit shorter it's really short actually but I really like it I like that it's even and healthy and I don't have see-through ends and then I went in and put some layers in and it's just really really nice I really like it and also I will let you guys know about that Dove um, heat protectant that's gonna be a video on its own so if you want to check out the review on Zant guy go ahead and subscribe so you'll see whenever I post that like after you know my hair has been and it's straight and thin, and then I wash it and see, like, if my hair, if my curls come back, my curls better come back. Like, I'm not even playing with the heat protectant. But I think I took, I took necessary precautions, though. Like, I don't, I didn't, um, blow dry my hair on, like, a hot setting. I didn't flat iron my hair on the max, like, so I think it should be fine anyways, but... Yeah, I'll give you guys the full rundown on the heat protectant spray in a future video. But yeah, this is the hair. I actually don't like having it down with this on. For some reason, this pajama top makes, I don't know, the hair just clings to this pajama top and it kind of hurts. Um, but yeah, this is the hair, you guys. I think it's so cute. It rained today, so like this side got a little bit puffy, but it's okay. I live for a little puff in my life. All right, so this is it. This is the hair. If you watch any of my other videos that I've been posting, you'll see how like pin, pin, pin straight. I'll probably release that video before this one. But if you check out that video, girl, you see how pin straight it is. I like, I like pin straight, but I also like fluffy. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I hope this helped in any way, any form. Um, if you guys want to see some more hair content from me, please give this video a thumbs up. If you want to check out some of my old hair videos, I'll leave them on the screen. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next one. Besitos.